for anything you want to do, you have to be able to express yourself. You have to be able to get what's in your head out on paper. So I would say write, 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 write and read, 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 and really work on, on your communication skills. How do you get out of your head what's in your heart? And when I started reporting, I, was a, I worked in San Francisco as my first on-air job. It was really hard for me to connect what I was thinking to how it came out of my mouth. I mean, sometimes I sounded like a complete idiot. I just couldn't piece it together and not sound crazy. But it took a lot of practice, and I really had to kind of start thinking very carefully about, you know, again, what, what was I trying to say? What was I trying to do? What was my message? What is the story you're trying to tell? So I would say take classes in writing creative writing, essay writing, and then just read everything. Get other people's perspectives on issues, and it will teach you a lot. You can learn a lot by reading other people's work. You can learn a lot by reading other people's work that's terrible, and other people's work that's really, really great. Uh, so I would just say constantly open yourself up. If you have any interest in journalism, really, I think this is good for any career. Open yourself up to just reading a lot, getting feedback on your own writing. So part of it is um, just communicating to different audiences, right? So, um, you know, just today I was in a meeting with, I, you know, I spent an increasingly large amount of time talking to lawyers um, or talking to policy people who have much different skill set than I do or very different training than I do. So economists are taught to think about what is the data saying, what are the numbers saying, um, what's the, the statistical analysis saying. Um, so we can all do that, but the problem is if I like speak that language to somebody who doesn't have a PhD in economics and I start talking about well I identified this coefficient and I found a significant effect, they're going to have no idea what I'm talking about. And so what, what, I, what I have to do is be able to take that knowledge and bring it back to people who are implementing the policy. And that means like I have to learn some law too, like I, you know I'm not a lawyer so I don't understand the ins and outs of like the Dodd Frank Act, you know, which is what a lot of our work is based on, for example. And so, you know, I have to kind of have them explain the law to me in ways that are relevant for the stuff that I have to do with it. So just kind of navigating those different worlds um, and then writing and explaining things clearly to people, making sure I'm understood, making sure I understand people, and making sure we do all this really efficiently, too, is probably one of the hardest parts of my job. Miss Alamary, you said that you, you are from Iraq, your, country, your, your family's from Iraq. Do you speak another language? I do. I speak um, Arabic and I speak French. And I, I speak Arabic because I learned it through my parents. But I speak French because I studied it in school and I worked in France for my very first job. Um, and then I speak English. And do you feel that it's important to have another language and to hold on to that other language from your family? Um, in in your job now as a reporter or in any oh, other job? Yes, absolutely. Being an Arabic and um, especially Arabic, being an Arabic and English speaker has been the best thing in the world for me. And I actually wish that I had um, uh, used it more with my family because I came here when I was young, um, around the fifth grade actually, is when I came to the U.S. And so I... Um, I really learned to speak English at a very young age, and so I. And then I have two sisters, and they spoke English with me, so we spoke English a lot in the house instead of speaking more Arabic. I wish, I wish we had spoken more Arabic because then I would have been so much more successful um, in my career. Because the, having two languages, three languages is such an asset. It's so important. I can't say it enough. I, it's the most amazing thing, especially in this country. They love when you have more than one language that you can speak. Definitely, it's been an amazing asset.